What's up everybody, Mark with Coffee and Toys bringing you another figure unboxing and review. Today I'm straying away, going into a line that I don't collect very much or very often, but I am going to the Marvel Legends line today. And up today we have a special two-pack. Of course that two-pack is Avengers Beyond Earth's Mightiest, Doctor Doom, and Captain Marvel. Let's talk about it. So yeah, uh, straight out of the gate, the reason I picked this setup was solely for the Doctor Doom because Secret Wars, from my memory, is the first comic book series that I read uh, as a huge crossover in the Marvel Universe. Uh, so it always had a special, it's always meant something special to me in my childhood. And when I heard they were making a Doctor Doom, Doctor Doom's one of my favorite all-time villains, and I was like, oh my gosh, they're making a Doctor Doom from the Secret Wars, and that's really cool, and I, I don't even collect Marvel Legends that much, but I have to have this Doctor Doom. Uh, and then I kind of thought about it, and I'm like, oh, I don't really want it, because it's probably going to be super expensive, and I don't have any strong feelings towards the other figure in it, uh, Captain Marvel. Uh, I just really want that Doom. And I just kind of forgot about it, and then lo and behold, I, sold, I saw it at my uh, hobby shop, local hobby shop. And it was very reasonably priced, and I said, yes, I am going to get this, and I'm so glad I did. I can't wait to get into it today. Uh, but yeah, if you're uh, interested in Secret Wars, if you don't know anything about Secret Wars, rather, basically there was a being called the Beyonder. He essentially collected just random superheroes and villains from the Marvel Universe and put them on a planet and said, you guys are going to fight each other. And during that, Doctor Doom took it upon himself to actually fight the Beyonder, and beat him and take his powers. And when he took his powers, he uh, created himself a new suit, but more importantly than that, he healed his disfigured face. That was the first thing he did with his powers, was fix his face. Now, we're gonna see here in a moment that that, that that healed face is actually part of this package. So that's really cool, I'm excited to see it. So let's just jump on over and talk about the packaging. Okay, here we have it. Marvel Legends series Avengers Beyond Earth's Mightiest. This is a two-pack of Captain Marvel and Doctor Doom. So, I guess I should say Captain Marvel versus Doctor Doom. But as you can see, it has both figures on the front of the package, done in mostly white, but you actually do in the background, you get some pictures from the actual Secret Wars miniseries of Captain Marvel and Doctor Doom. Now, I can't speak much to Captain Marvel, uh, at least this version of Captain Marvel, so I apologize for that. But I do know this is from one of the covers of the Secret Wars miniseries where Doom is fighting the Beyonder. And he the cover's awesome because he is just absolutely wrecked. Um, now that being said, as we spin around to the side, we will see more pictures from those comics. Again, not sure about this one because I think this is the same one they use here. But they switched the Doom. This is after Doom defeated the Beyonder and he made himself very large. Um... It, like in his new armor, you can kind of see it briefly in the background. But that being said, the back of the package shows us what the box should have inside of it. For Captain Marvel, we have the figure and some alternate hands. And for Doctor Doom, really, who is probably, in my opinion, the star of this package, no offense to those that like Captain Marvel, uh, he does come with the unmasked, unblemished face, an alternate portrait with his uh, hood and mask, a loose mask and alternate hands and of course you've got your legal legalese down here at the bottom and on the side you have a picture of the actual figure showcasing captain marvel and dr doom so with that being said let's get away from the plastic free package and get into the figures okay here we have it captain marvel and victor von doom dr doom so i had to do some quick googling because i did want to know more about captain marvel uh Turns out this is a woman named Monica Rambo, if I'm saying that correctly. Not like Rambo, the guy that shoots up everything. Rambo, R-A-M-B-E-A-U. I think it's pronounced the same. But anyway, evidently she is a character. Uh, I think she might be in Secret, Inva uh, Secret Invasion right now on Disney Plus, the Marvel Secret Invasion, or whatever it's called. I haven't watched it, but if she's not going to be in that, I think I did read that she's also supposed to be in the new Marvels movie coming out sometime this year with Brie Larson, who plays Captain Marvel. I don't know what her story will be when it comes to the Captain Marvel that she portrays in the miniseries, the Secret Wars miniseries, but that is who this character is. And for what it is, looks like a good representation of the figure from the comic. 
And same for Doctor Doom. This is a very uh, good figure. Now, I will say this. Of the two, it is nearly impossible to get her to stand up. Uh, she is walking around some some stiletto heels that are not made for uh, posability or standability, even if that's a word. It took a lot to get her just to stand. I'm afraid she's going to fall over at any moment. But that being said, uh, looking at the figure, we will start with her. So we get a very nice face sculpt. I'll get the camera to focus there. And not much to it. I mean, head does a 360 turn. Uh, brown eyes it does appear to be um same upper body they've been using with so many of the uh women action figures uh we'll do some comparing later but i think this is the exact same uh torso and midsection that's used on uh spinneret and uh possibly even firestar we'll we'll, do, we'll compare and find out uh she does have these cool floaty whimsical things on her arms that don't move and then her legs are standard female legs, uh, bicep cuts, of course. I should say she has all the typical Marvel Legend articulation, so we're not going to go too much into that. Her joints are very tight. And uh, yeah, and then these little cuffs on her boots, and then these heels that make it very difficult for her to stand. And as you notice, there's no peg holes in her feet, so you can't even put her on a stand. So I'm not overly impressed with this figure. Uh, Partially because of my own ignorance of the knowledge of the character, but really because she has two peg holes in her back. That that seems familiar. I'll have to think about that. Like, probably shared with the multi-body shares they do. But yeah, it just makes it very difficult for her to stand. So now that I've... Oh, I say that, and then I actually get her to stand up fairly well. So she does come with alternate uh, hands. So you can, if you choose, you can give her a uh, fighting fist of fury, which is very good. Always appreciate to have extra hands. And yeah, so let's uh, let's move on to Doctor Doom. So we have Doctor Doom, and he has immediately. I noticed this uh, it's supposed to be his hood, and it's just down because obviously, like I said, he healed his face in the Secret Wars using the Beyonder's power. And yeah, from what I understand, this is a if not completely, it is mostly new. I know this torso is completely new, or at least I'm pretty sure it is. If there's not, leave me a comment. While you're down there, go ahead and hit the like button. I'd appreciate that. It helps the channel out. But yeah, we have Dr. Doom with his hood down. And yeah, he kind of gave himself a more robotic-looking outfit at this point. So it's just done in a, in a shiny gray color and a shiny green, metallic green. And of course, he's got the, the joint at his waist. And again, typical Marvel articulation, Marvel Legends articulation. So yeah, looking really good. And... He does have pins in the knees and pins in the arms. Maybe this is an, maybe this is reused from the other Doctor Dooms. I'm not sure. Um, but yeah, so in addition to that, Doctor Doom does come with a few more accessories. He too, however, does start with a couple of Fist of Fury. So if you want to have him punching someone or something, he can certainly do that. He does come with a mask that is very cool because... Like I said, he takes off his mask in the comic once he heals his face, so it's cool to have just a mask accessory. And of course, it does have some design in the back. Try to get that to focus so you can see it. So this is a fun accessory. I do like this. Um, but then finally, he does come with the hood up version uh, with his mask. Um, I don't believe... This was used with the retro uh, Marvel Legends Doctor Doom. I know that because I had that figure at one point. What's interesting is I don't know if these match up, do they? Oh, I guess they do. I didn't think whenever he became, uh, when he wore his new Doctor Doom outfit, I don't remember the rivets being there. Like the, the, the face mask was made anew, but maybe not. But yeah, it's just, a, it's just a head with a hood already on it. I don't think you can take it out. I believe it's glued in. But yeah, there we go. So let's take a moment. Uh, I'll get some, we'll do some comparisons. We'll, we'll accessorize Doom. There's not really much to accessorize with Captain Marvel. And then we'll come back, we'll do some final thoughts. Okay, so I did uh, accessorize both of them the best of my ability with Captain Marvel. I put on her fisted hands. And then Doctor Doom, I put on the alternate portrait so that you can see what he looks like uh, with his actual hooded look to him. Now, one thing I didn't go over was if you could take the this head, I'm sure somebody's curious, because I was, what happens if you try to put the mask over top of it? 
And the answer is, well, kinda. Kinda works, kinda doesn't. So you could fit the mask over his face and get some semblance of it actually looking like Dr. Doom's mask, but it's it's not gonna stay on. But it's pretty close. I mean, it, it, it the plastic's malleable enough that it can actually, well, it can almost stay on. So for those that were wondering, there's your answer. But yeah, um, ultimately, uh, oh, one more thing. I did find a uh, spinneret is the same body that is shared with Captain Marvel all the way through, except for maybe the legs and the feet obviously are different, but the rest of it's the same. And I realized that by the double hole. I knew I recognized that double hole in the back of uh, Captain Marvel's back because I'd seen it on this figure. So in case you're curious, same, same body for the most part. Um, but yeah, I think overall, this is a pretty expensive set. Um, if you're really just wanting one figure, if you want both the figures, hey, it's a good deal. You're going to get it. You don't get a lot of accessories. I, I wish there was a little bit more. I wish Doom would have come with some, uh, uh, those little power swirls that you can put around his hand that came with the other figures. I wish he would have had some of those. I wish she would have had some of the same sort of effects for her hand. I just feel like they, especially with Captain Marvel, they skimped out on a lot of stuff I think they could have thrown in very easy with this package. So, I can see this one being, uh, it's, it's available now. You can find them at Walmarts, Targets, hobby stores, uh, online retailers. It's not going to be a hard pack to find because I, I just don't think a lot of people have this affinity for Doctor Doom. And I don't think a lot of people have an affinity for this version of Captain Marvel, unfortunately. Um, that being said, if you enjoyed the review and you got something out of it and it helped sway your opinion one way or the other, go ahead and give a like to the video and drop a comment down below. Let me know what you thought. Is this a pack you're going to be picking up? Are you getting it for one figure or the other? Or just, you know, if you see it, it's just a, a solid pass. Let me know. Otherwise, I'm Mark. This is Coffee with Toys. And I'll see you later.